So we love a story when it's not just about athletic prowess. It's awesome when a great athlete is also a good guy. We found one at St. Louis University High School. With the help of photographer Tom Stasiak, we give you a look at sportsmanship on the track. This is Ryan Wingo, a SLU sophomore who's one of the fastest humans in Missouri. This is Jalen Cole, a senior at Mayo High School in Louisville, who's one of the fastest humans in Kentucky. They met on a track a few weeks ago in Louisville. In the 100. So Jalen had gotten second in the 100, Ryan had gotten third. Um, that was the first time they had met or, or raced each other. Ryan Wingo is the number one ranked wide receiver in America in his class. He already has 30 scholarship offers. Sit. Back. On the track, he's only lost one time in the 100 meters and one time in the 200 meters this year. He just competes, you know, and he gets in there and he just wants to uh, compete against other people and see how fast he can get, and, and that's just a special rare talent. But what he did on that track a few weeks ago was even more rare. It was warm enough for the 200 meter dash, and then over the intercom, they were like, Everybody cleared the stands out. We could kind of see from a distance what was going on, chest compressions. I had looked over and I seen like a kid, he was on the phone and he was like, uh, what happened? What happened? And he like, he was like real antsy. Ryan was the one that figured that out, that it was, that was Jalen Cole's dad. Cole's father was having a heart attack. And while he was running to his dad, Wingo was thinking of his. Use those arms. You see, Ryan and his father, Ronnie, are connected at the hip. Oh, good, man. All the way back to when Ryan was scoring touchdowns as a six-year-old with his dad coaching. I'm real close to my dad. My dad's like at everything that I do. And like for him like to have to not be able to run. Wingo did run in that 200-meter race and won. He had an idea. Give the medal to Jalen. He had talked to myself and the, and the other coach that was with us to make sure that we were okay with him going and doing it if we thought it was a good idea, but it was all Ryan's idea. It just was more like of a gesture, like I feel for you and like, like I know how, it, and I don't know how it feels to what happened to his father, but I know that it's stuff like that can really mess, it, mess like your head up a little bit. So it was just more like, you know, even though I don't know you, like I'm here for you. It was pretty darn emotional. Their coaches were pretty emotional as well. Um, you know, definitely what was an exciting day for both schools at a meet where they were running well and, and we were having a good meet as well. Um, to have something so tragic happen in the middle is, is uh, was devastating for everybody. And, and to have Ryan's thoughts not be about his race, but about somebody else is, is really inspiring for all of us. Set, break. Ryan Wingo one of the fastest sprinters in the state, and also one of the kindest. We are happy to report that after suffering that heart attack, Jalen Cole's dad has made a slow and steady recovery. We'll be right back.